There is, unfortunately, as of the time this video was created, no evidence of life existing or having ever existed on other planets. As much as we'd like to be able to bring you knowledge of extraterrestrial life, sadly, the evidence simply isn't there. That's not to say that humans won't eventually encounter such evidence, as the search does continue, but we'll have to wait a bit longer. Could life have once existed deep into prehistory on other planets, however? Is there anything out there to suggest that an alien equivalent of Tyrannosaurus rex was once stalking a potentially habitable exoplanet deep into the annals of time and space? It's an excellent thought experiment, and one that we will be looking into today. What does modern science say about the idea of fossils hidden in the depths of space? Where might they be if they do exist? And what might this mean for the future of science if, miraculously, we did happen to stumble across the prehistoric remains of alien life? Let's head into the orbit of ancient worlds to find out. Of the planets in our solar system that aren't Earth, Mars is often considered to be the most likely celestial body capable of sustaining life. Many, many examples of popular media concern the idea of life on Mars, from H.G. Wells' classic War of the Worlds to the slightly less serious 1996 film Mars Attacks. Artist and writer C.M. Kozeman, a big name in the paleontology community himself, even played with the idea of humans colonizing Mars and splitting off into a separate species in his 2006 cult ebook All Tomorrows. It's a popular idea and a huge inspiration for science fiction writers. The Red Planet, the fourth one from our sun, harbors organic compounds within sedimentary rocks. We know this to be fact. Such organic compounds can be the precursors to basic life. And for this reason, scientists and writers alike have toyed with the idea of Mars being a suitable location for either the rise of extraterrestrial life or its potential future terraforming by Homo sapiens. Studies have shown that Mars was, in ancient times, home to water, which flowed under a dense atmosphere which in turn created a warmer, potentially habitable temperature. Moreover, on the surface of Mars can be found hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and potentially carbon, elements that would be useful for a planet harboring life. One thing that is very important to note when discussing potential life on Mars, however, is the fact that exobiologists do not think that anything more complex than simple bacterial organisms could have evolved on the planet. When liquid water was present on Mars, the planet lacked a magnetosphere, and as a result, there was little protection from the intense solar radiation permeating the atmosphere. The reason you or I don't instantly fry to death as soon as we step outside on a sunny day is because Earth's magnetosphere prevents most of that solar radiation from reaching us. Any life living on Mars, then, would have had to be very small and live in complete darkness, either deep down in the oceans that simply weren't there or within dark caves. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Mars is a good candidate for dinosaur-sized animals having once existed. Just because there are no candidates for planets within our own solar system that harbor life outside of Earth, be that extant or prehistoric, that's not to say that it's out of the equation entirely. Take a moment to think about the size of the universe. It's unimaginably vast and continues to expand even while you watch this video. There are billions of galaxies out there each with their own billions of individual stars and solar systems. If life exists on one, and we know it does, why couldn't it exist or have once existed elsewhere? Bear in mind, too, that life has existed on planet Earth for the last three and a half billion years. 
The universe is thought to have begun around 13.8 billion years ago, expanding from a tiny, dense state when the Big Bang occurred. That's an immensely long time window that some form of life somewhere in the universe could have evolved long before life on Earth appeared. To this day, scientists continue to search for life on other planets. If terrestrial life, akin to the complexion and size of dinosaurs, exists in a world that is not our own, it will exist in the deep reaches of outer space beyond our solar system. Part of the search for life on other worlds involves scientists seeking out signs of previous life in outer space. That would be fossilized animals buried deep beneath the ground of other planets, which would be very hard to obtain information on with our current technology. To support life, an exoplanet would need to meet several criteria. Liquid water would be necessary to promote chemical reactions that could create or sustain life. Liquid water can only exist at certain temperatures, meaning that a planet harboring life could not be too hot or too cold, or it simply could not survive. A planet would therefore need to be in a habitable zone, within a certain distance of a respective star, to ensure that the conditions were right for life to thrive in the long term. A dense, stable atmosphere to block harmful radiation from solar rays would be needed to prevent life from, as we noted previously, frying to death. This would also allow essential gases to be circulated amongst the globe, allowing life to thrive in multiple regions. Depending on the type of life present on an exoplanet, a specific combination of elements would need to exist. Carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen, for example, are some of the building blocks of organic life, and all of these contribute to the stability of life on Earth today. Gravity on a suitable exoplanet would need to be strong enough for a planet to be safe from debris from outer space, and to stop its atmosphere from dissipating into nothingness. Of course, if a planet meets all of the above criteria, there is no guarantee that life would evolve to live on it in the first place. The origin of life on Earth is still a complex mystery that has not been fully solved. Life on Earth may have begun near underwater hydrothermal vents, similar to those seen at the bottom of the deepest oceans today. Some scientists argue that life was carried to Earth on meteors that happened to strike our planet billions of years ago, and others have considered the idea that energy generated from lightning striking the ocean could have created the first single-celled organisms. It has been considered that life may not have been discovered on other planets yet due to the fact that the conditions needed for it to evolve are so specific that the chances of encountering them in our immediate reaches of space are slim. Perhaps if there is or was life out there, we will need to turn to the distant reaches of our galaxy or even the wider universe. If life was to have ever existed on other planets, it is unlikely that any extraterrestrial organisms would have resembled the dinosaurs, or even anything alive on Earth today. Although the conditions needed for a planet to support life would need to somewhat resemble our own, life on other worlds would be adapting to entirely alien conditions. The dinosaur, or even the vertebrate, is, for all we know, solely a product of Earth. An organism is the product of its environment, and will adapt to fit the environment to ensure it does not go extinct. Therefore, alien life would evolve in response to specific conditions of its own planet. That planet could be bigger or smaller than Earth, could have more or less gravity, different atmospheric or ecological conditions. The list of variables is nearly endless. Animals living on planets with more gravity than Earth would need to adapt to the abundance of that force. These animals would likely be short and hardy, living close to the ground to ensure the added weight of the excess gravity would not break their bones. 
Flying animals might be rare depending on how much gravity is present, and the world might be populated by animals that resemble organisms such as starfishes or sea cucumbers. Conversely, a world with less gravity would make flying much easier, and animals would be able to grow very tall. Concepts such as these are explored in the aforementioned All Tomorrows by C.M. Koseman, where the descendants of humans change to suit lifestyles on planets with different environmental conditions. On a planet similar to Earth, you might be able to find life resembling dinosaurs at some point in that world's natural history, but they would not be true dinosaurs. This would be an example of convergent evolution, a common process amongst Earth's organisms where unrelated species evolve to look similar when they exploit a common resource. A prime example can be found in anteaters, numbats, aardvarks, and pangolins. All of these animals have strong claws and long snouts for consuming insects from their communal mounds, but none of them are closely related in evolutionary terms. Let's imagine for a moment that scientists discover a planet that either does or has previously sustained complex life. This would change the course of science as we know it. The nature and origins of life on our own world could come into question, and we would know for certain that we are not alone in this vast, vast universe. How would we assign scientific names and discern evolutionary relationships between organisms on an entirely different planet? More importantly, what would happen if that life was technologically advanced would we come into peaceful contact with extraterrestrial civilizations? Or would it prove dangerous? The questions arisen from this one hypothetical question are both massive and endless. The discovery of life on other worlds would be a massive boon to the scientific world, providing that the life in question did not pose a threat to the organisms of Earth we would be able to learn about an entirely new natural history, with animals and plants most likely unlike any that have ever evolved on planet Earth. While that life would probably not be in any way reminiscent of the dinosaurs, there would be an endless flow of ideas, theories, and experiments that would likely change the way we look at Earth's own prehistoric past and the animals that evolved in it.